Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are looking at AWS CloudFormation, which is a templating language that defines AWS resources to be provisioned or automating the creation of resources via code. Uh, and all these concepts are called infrastructure as code, which we will cover again in just a moment here. So to understand CloudFormation, we need to understand infrastructure as code because that is what CloudFormation is. So let's reiterate over what infrastructure as code is. So it's the process of managing and provisioning computer data centers. So in our case, it's AWS through machine readable definition files. And so in this case, it's CloudFormation template YAML or JSON files rather than uh, the physical hardware configuration or interactive configuration tools. Uh, so the idea is to stop doing things manually, right? So if you launch resources in AWS, you're used to configuring in the console all those resources, but through a scripting language, we can automate that process. So now let's think about what is the use case for CloudFormation. Um, and so here I have an example uh, where let's pretend that we have our own uh, Minecraft server business and people uh, sign up on our website and pay a monthly subscription and we will run that server for them. So the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna tell us where they want the server to run so they have low latency and what size of server. So the larger the server, the, the more performant the server will be. And so they give us those two inputs and then we um, somehow send that to a Lambda function and that Lambda function triggers to launch a new CloudFormation stack using our CloudFormation template, which defines you know, how to launch that server, uh, that EC2 instance running Minecraft in a security group in what region and what size. And when it's finished creating, we can monitor maybe using CloudWatch events um, that it's done and using the outputs from that CloudFormation stack, send the IP address uh, of the new Minecraft server to the user so they can log in and start using their server. So that's way of automating our infrastructure.